Hey everybody, my name is Joe Price. I'm a Wilderness Living Skills Instructor based here in Sweden. Here in front of me I have some Kapilka fire starting products that I'd like to talk to you about today. But before I start, I want to take a moment to maybe add to the conversation around ferrocerium rods. If you're watching this, thank you very much. If you're watching it here on the Eskogok Mark channel, or maybe you're watching it on the Kapilka homepage, very welcome to the video and thank you for joining us. Some of you may not be aware of what a ferrocerium rod is. A ferrocerium rod is what is known as a mish metal, which is a German or Austrian word meaning a mix of metals. Ferrocerium was first discovered and first blended together by an Austrian scientist called Karl Orr. I apologize to any of my Austrian followers if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. But when you look into scientific literature, sometimes ferrocerium rods may be known as ore metals or ferrocerium metals. What ferrocerium is, is a pyrophoric material if anyone has ever banged flint together, struck a lighter, lit a welding torch, chances are it's a ferrocerium rod that's in them that's creating those sparks. Pyrophoric materials are materials that combust when they interact with the air but are relatively stable when you keep them compressed together. So what Carl did was take iron and cerium and blend them together into this pyrophoric blend of mish metals. Now where does the ferrocerium rod go from lighters to welding torches from Carl's lab in Vienna to bushcraft? Well, ferrocerium rods are a very stable, very tough blend of metal that can be used in all and a multiple range of environments. It originally started growing in fame within the Swedish military and the Swedish outdoor scene. That is when it started to rise into the public space. It was great for working in environments like this where gas and butane lighters may not have always been the best suited for these environments. It is great weather resistant properties and can work in a multiple ways in a multiple environments lighting multiple tinders. So it became a survival tool but then it started to move out of the survival kits when bushcrafters and wilderness skills practitioners started to use it daily in the forest and weekly in the forest in their day-to-day -day life. There are different blends of ferrocerium rods out there, soft ones, hard ones, longer ones and smaller ones. The blend that Kapilka uses is absolutely perfect for people who use ferro rods on a very regular basis, especially people like myself and my partner Ida who teach hundreds of people every year how to make fire. In fact, this box of Kapilka of ferro rods is very sentimental to me because this was given to me by Kapilka when we first started our school and I subsequently taught many students over the past two years and there's a lot of fire lighting in these ferro rods here and that's again why I like this blend because it's soft enough that beginners are able to get a good consistent spark and train up those muscle memory but it's not so soft that I'm having to replace ferro serum rods in my school every year. Better for the environment, better for the students, better for my pocket as well which is also fantastic. One of the things that you first notice is the handle is beautifully ergonomic, made out of that textbook beautiful material, the plastic wood fibre blend that Kapilka use. It's super ergonomic, as you can see, to use wick gloves here in the colder environments. You can get a good purchase grip on it in the hand, it fills the hand absolutely well and it fills all hands. And this handle Kapilka has really nailed because whether those hands be size 6, size 5, size 8, size 9, everybody can get a grip on this ferrocerium rod. Next of all is that in these environments, and I have one sitting here in the front of the video, this has been sitting in snow the whole time I'm talking, you can see that it is covered in snow and you simply just have to brush it off, take the striker and you got your sparks. Again, fantastic. The striker that it comes with is a lot better than the standard strikers that I see on an awful lot of ferro rods which is usually just a piece of milled down um, hacksaw blade, it's usually just a piece of square machine metal with a bit of an edge on it that's meant to do 27 things all at once but this is just a purpose built striker, nice and tapered, it's only beveled on one side with a very aggressive 90 degree spine with a burr that's absolutely perfect, comes on this leather lanyard, I like to see that, leather is a lot more environmentally friendly than some of the heavy plastic material that we see on products like this and you can strike continuous sparks nice and easy using various techniques and if you wish to see again some ferrocerium rod techniques please go over and check out my other social media channels. 
it did win the award for best product, best Scandinavian product in 2019. It's the Scandinavian Outdoor Awards. You can see some of the labels are still on these ones, my spare ones, the ISPO Award 2019. And there you have it. There's not really much more to say about ferro rods. It's a simple product with an awful lot of history and I'm glad that Kapilka took it on board to make a great addition to the ferrocerium rod market made by the people at Kapilka. I've been using it in the school for the past two years. I've used it personally in my own kit for a lot longer and I find that it's repeatability, ease of handle, it's not going to crack. That happens sometimes as well when you have these wooden handles that are epoxied on, they can get cold, the wood can swell in wet conditions and you end up losing your very fancy handle. I can personally say that over three years and hundreds of students that I have never lost a handle off a Kapilka ferro rod. I'm not the type of guy that just walks onto social media and tells you to buy a product or even puts my name or recommending a product to something that I've just only had in my hand a couple of months. So there you go. For those of you who may not have seen a fair serum rod before, its uses, purposes or history, I hope that's clarified some things. For those of you who have never seen a Kapilka ferro rod before, I hope I've shown and done justice to the great product that it is. You can check out my social media feeds again if you wish to see them in action and I'm sure you can check out YouTube, type in Kapilka ferro rod. There's plenty of reviews on there from people other than myself. As I always say, you don't have to take my opinion. The proof is in the use and the proof is in how many people use it. I'm Joe Price, Wilderness Outdoor Skills Instructor. Behind the camera, I'd like to thank the amazing Ida today for shooting this video and I'd like to also thank everybody at Kapilka for allowing me to do this video to tell everybody at home how great their products are. Thank you for joining me and until the next video, take care.